It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a brand new beer from Badger Ales and it's their Leaping Legend. Coming in at 4.8% ABV. There's a look at the label. There's the bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. It's been a while since I reviewed a Badger Ale. It's gotta be, has to be two years. Nice smoke on the opening. Badger Ales were kind enough to send us the ale for review. So, what are we expecting? Badger Amarillo Hop. Looking forward to it. And I tell you, what I find is progress with this brewery and I think it's absolutely brilliant what they've done is that they went from dark brown bottles a few years ago they went over to clear glass and they've made the decision to go back to brown glass and I absolutely applaud them for it absolutely applaud them all with, with all the problems you get from clear glass the the hop strike, the hop skunk, call it what you want, the skunking of the beer. Um, you can you can try and I've I've had a beer in the past that's, that's had a UV coated clear bottle. I just don't see the point. Just get it in a brown bottle, it'll help protect the beer as a beer should be protected, especially with the amount of hops that I imagine and what I'm picking up in this beer. So well done to Badger Ales for making an about turn and putting their beer back in brown glass. It's the right choice. So the brand new Leaping Legend then, 4.8% ABV. The clarity of the beer is great. It's a lovely, crisp, sharp looking amber coloured beer. Nice levels of rolling carbonation. It's a, it's a nice gentle carbonation. It's a one to two finger, slightly off white head that's just staying there nicely. And I'm dying, I'm looking forward to getting my nose into this beer. I really am. Let's give it a try. There's a big mixture in this beer between biscuity, bready, lovely premium ale and American hops, the Amarillo. It's the sweetness, the breadiness, the biscuitiness of the malt versus that lovely floral, grapefruity, mango punch of the Amarillo hop. It smells pretty decent. Let's dive in. Cheers. And yeah, yeah, it's a tasty brew. It's a very familiar beer. It's a very, it's a, it's an enjoyable familiar beer. When it, it just, it, it makes me think, it takes me right back to, I was drinking Badger Ales. I think I was drinking a Golden Glory way way before I was reviewing beer even five years ago it was probably about seven eight years ago I was drinking a golden glory and that was one of the first beers that clicked in my mind that made me think I want to buy these bottled prima males they're a little bit more money to buy they're a little bit more expensive but you get such a different variety and a different different feeling when you're drinking that beer so in the pub from Wales I'm drinking your SA your SA gold your, your Hancock's HB and then in the bottle when I would sit in a house and drink I was generally drinking Badger Ale so 
Yes, very familiar. Even after drinking 1850 plus beers on the channel and uh, drinking some wonderful Imperial Porters, Imperial Stouts and IPAs from all over the world, different styles, saisons and, and really educating myself in beer, it still brings a smile to my face. Uh, and it makes me kind of think of, of days gone by, you know, a, a decent beer like this. So it's bready, it's biscuity, there's an element of nice kind of slightly burnt toffee, if you imagine, and this is totally in my mind now, if you were to melt down a bit of toffee in a frying pan and just let it kind of burn off a little bit or maybe, maybe even put it under the grill, not that you would ever think of doing this in your life. It's just a flavour that I imagine would be, would taste like, would smell like. It's a, it's a slightly kind of burnt, toasted toffee taste in this beer. But I'm enjoying the malt, I'm enjoying the sweetness, and I'm certainly enjoying that hoppy, bitter finish. It's got a nice balance to the beer. Grapefruity, there's a bit of mango in there, a bit of passion fruit. Yeah. It's decent, it's decent. And I've still got this smile on my face. I've still I've still got this this um this badger ale, this badger ales feeling has come back. I will be honest with you. I was terribly disappointed and almost heartbroken when they put all of their beers in clear bottles. I refused to buy it outright. Didn't buy any of it. Um, but now it's like, it's like it's all gone back. Everything's mended. Everything's back to how it should be. And I'm gonna drink their beer again. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. So, their new beer, Badger Leaping Legend, 4.8% ABV. How do I rate it? And the question that comes into my mind more and more often as I drink beer, especially on the channel, review bottled beers, the question I ask myself is, would I buy it again? Or well, in this case, it was sent to me, and um, thank you to Badger for that, but would I go ahead and buy another bottle, or four bottles? And do you know what, I think I would. I think I would. Number one, because it's a good price point. You'll probably go in a supermarket, somewhere like Morrison's, Tesco's, Asda, Sainsbury's, somewhere like that, and you'll more often than not find this beer under the three for five pound kind of offer and it's a pretty decent it's a great price especially in hard times that we're in now 2013-14-2014 it's it's a beer that you can buy in session at a barbecue grab a pizza even turn the xbox on or the playstation uh, and just enjoy your afternoon, your evening, whatever your pleasure is, uh, and enjoy a few beers with that. So, so it's a decent beer. It'll be at a decent price point. I would buy it again. It's pretty damn tasty. I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. It's an eight out of ten from real, real ale craft beer. Um, yeah, badger or back as far as I'm concerned. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.